Yo, what's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. It is Silk here and today we are kind of taking it back to where this channel really took off and that is an attack jet commentary. So finally, Battlefield 2042 has added these attack jets. Unfortunately, it's very hard to use them, but we've found the game and we are in the A-10 here. And let me tell you guys, this thing is extremely strong. But before we get into all that, I have a message from today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Blood Hunt, a free-to-play battle royale made by the Kurit Shark mob. I've been interested in this game for a while and right now is definitely a great time to take a look. They're adding a new 8v8 team deathmatch mode which will definitely help you out if you're just getting into the game. Just get used to the mechanics and everything before heading into the BR. Also within this summer update is the new battle pass. It holds over 100 items at lower prices and it should be fast enough to work through. If you're a content creator, they've got some extra stuff for you too. There's a content creator program that you can apply for on their website. This program is going to give you access to exclusive digital and physical items along with an exclusive section in their Discord. Speaking of the Discord, anyone can join and the devs are in there 24 seven. There's heaps of channels and a really good community over there. And finally, if you are a PS5 player, they've made some great improvements to the gamepad settings and controls, should make for a better experience on the console. So if you've got a PC or a PS5, definitely give Blood Hunt a look. It's free to play and it has a lot of potential. So as I said in the intro, we are flying the A-10. Finally added this thing into the game, and in my opinion, it's probably the best jet that they've added. It's the best design jet for sure, and... Look, I can't lie, I am extremely happy that DICE have finally went back to their old ways, and they've given us another overpowered jet. It's almost like a Battlefield trademark thing to have an OP jet at some point. You just always gotta have it, so... Glad they're getting that out of the way, and we have a jet that's really, really strong now, just for a change because they weren't that strong before. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys do want to fly this yourselves, and the way to do it is pretty much on Portal. Uh, the server I play is an Asian one. It's BF3 versus BF3, I think that's the title. Has 2042 movement. Uh, I think it's 64 players, and it tends to fill up most days, so when I want to have some actual real good vehicle gameplay, this is where I go, because the night bird in here, or the little bird, is a lot better as well. Anyways, as we're getting into it, this is pretty much the biggest threat here these stealth jets so i'm gonna put the cannons on him and pretty much instantly kill him with the a10 and the other big threat is the aa that's what i'm strafing right now gonna try to kill the aa as quickly as possible make sure i'm bursting the cannons because i'm running the stealth perk i'm running a rocket pod stealth and ecm not sure if it's the best loadout to the one i use right now and i find that that kind of gives me a little bit more time to play with lock-ons we actually managed to get the heli as well on the end there. This thing pretty much does shred everything. And I'm popping my ECM, which is kind of a new addition to this game. And honestly, I don't think ECM is that good in this game. I'm using it just because I wanted to try it out. But I think I'm going to switch back to the flares. ECM does cover you for a really long time. You get a lot of coverage with it. But it takes forever to come back. So sometimes I get impatient like I'm about to do now. And I'm going to go strafe something, even though I could die. Straight this little Humvee here. Managed to get him, but we are going to take one missile. And you can take one missile, but... I mean, they do a lot of damage like they do in the base game. You got to be careful. Now I have my ECM back, though. I'm pretty confident to head back in. And also, if you get your jet on fire, it doesn't uh, heal at all. So, another big tip. Anyways, going for the AA now. Make quick work of the AA. I make sure to burst whenever I'm going for them, just to make sure I don't overheat. And now, trying to go for the uh, stealth jet, what do you want to call it? If you do uh, 313, like BF4, it actually turns faster in this jet as well. I uh, just tried to do 313, I'm not sure of the exact speed, but around that range, the 300 to 310, seems to be the best. Got a lot of lock-ons on me now, but I've actually died since the last time, and I put on the flares. And we're going to try pretty aggressively onto an AA. Take the missile, but it doesn't really matter. And I'm trying to stay low, make sure I don't get locked on again. The stingers in this have an absolutely ridiculous range. Uh, it's got to be like 800 meters or something. It's absolutely crazy. You can get locked pretty much across the map, so... You're never really that safe. And I'm going to look towards the road, see if I can find a tank or something. Also infantry. Got these rocket pods here. They're not great, but they get the job done for one or two kills. 
And I'll dip down behind cover to avoid using my flares. Reload the rocket pods. And we'll try to find something else. This is a SU-25 here. Seems like the A-10 is better than the SU-25. I'm not sure about that, but just an observation. And there's a second SU-25 on my 6. I'm going to switch down towards him. The roll rate in this jet is really, really low. I mean, it does fly like a bit of a boat, but the cannon is so good that it definitely makes up for it. And that's Jesus over there in the other jet. Uh, he is pretty strong. Pretty solid player, but I will kill steal him there, unfortunately. And then I'll see if I can get this transport as well. We're going to have to burst a little bit here. Yeah, unlucky. Just overheated. And I will chase that down. Only a few bullets are needed. So there's another attack Kelly above me, but I'm trying to find some infantry with these pods on the way out. And it's not an attack Kelly, it's a scout, but I will still go for that. Flaring straight away, and he happens to be a little bit too high to get a really good strafe on, so... Gonna try to create a lot of distance here. Luckily he doesn't get a second lock on. I think that kind of the the play style on this is to always stay above 65 health because you can get stingered from pretty much anywhere. Anyway, I'm going to pre-flare here, get rid of the AA and then dip down behind this mountain. Very similar style to BF4, you know, using the mountains as an exit. It's been pretty familiar. It's been pretty familiar, pretty fun. And overall, this is definitely the most fun I've had jetting in this game so far. Having another look. I thought I saw some tanks, and sure enough, there's something there. Tank doesn't really stand any chance against the A10. And now that the scout heli is nice and low in altitude, I'm going to go back down and try to kill him. See if we can line him up. Looks like he's on very low health. Managed to kill steal him there. And then a jet pulls up in front of me, so... I mean, why not? Pull onto him as well. Very quick work for the A-10, and we are on a bit of a streak right now. I'm not very good at aiming it, like, super precisely like that. Uh, those are the kind of shots you have to get really good at in BF4 dogfighting, but... Luckily, there's not too much competition. I've got a pretty good wingman here. And I've been thinking, I really wish they put this jet into the main game. It's too good of a jet. It's too well designed for them to leave out. I think when they bring in the portal weapons into the main game, they should also bring in some of the portal vehicles because they really are very enjoyable. I think they're the best vehicles. And I mean, no wonder they are made by Dice LA. So different designers, I think, have taken a crack at these vehicles. And the outcome is very obvious. I mean, these ones are better than the base game ones. Try to get this guy on the way out. I'm not very good with these rocket pods. They are a bit awkward to aim, but sometimes they're accurate. Sometimes they just go everywhere but where you're aiming. I don't even know. Anyways, not many tanks besides this guy, so... Get rid of him real quick, and we're probably back to strafing infantry. Oh, never mind. I've been owned. RPGs and smalls are so good in this. Really, really strong. Right, so I've got another A-10. Things are in control, I promise. Not just flying out of bounds. So this map's so small. And we've got a fighter jet here. Bit awkward, but we get him down eventually. And I see a little scout heli on the side of the map. Should be light work for the cannons, yep. No worries for the A-10. I mean, this thing's such a beast. And now we're back looking for tanks. That's pretty much the BF4 playstyle. Jets, helis, tanks. It depends on who's in the heli. You can leave them sometimes. Vodnik dies pretty quick. And now Jesus has an A10 of his own. So I won't be kill stealing him as much, I don't think. He'll probably just be outright killing things as well. I 
It's just so cool just to even watch the A10 strafe on the side. It looks, it just looks so good. It's something the game is definitely missing. I've, I've always said this, but if you have like a modern war game, put an A10 in it. It makes the game feel so much more like immersive. Even from the ground, just hearing the, the cannons. It just hits different. I believe there's some sort of vehicle on that back flag there. Gonna have to have another look for it. And as you can see, the flares are just so much better. They recharge so much faster. And I'm flying really far back just to be totally safe because, I mean, stingers can lock you so far away. I don't want to die to any stinger players. I have been smored though. I don't know what's worse. I'm gonna fly towards the lock on, see if he can shoot it. He's not interested in that. And now I'm just trying to find the infantry, but... Pretty dead strafe there. Didn't really find anything. It is like that sometimes, though. Have another look. Managed to get two there with the rocket pods. They do kill really, really fast when they hit. And having a look for the spawn. Just, I don't want to get snuck by an AA. Looks like there's a fighter jet up there. Not too bothered by it. <laughs> Rather get an infantry kill. The one thing I think they really missed out on this game though, well, there's a lot of things they missed out, but one of the things is the the BF3 cam like you had in BF4, where it doesn't rotate with the jet. I just don't like this camera view at all. I've always used the other one whenever it's available, but unfortunately this game didn't have us covered there. I do like how well free looking works in this jet though. It's pretty nice just to swoop around and then spot a target and strafe it. Should be some action down there. Hopefully we can help out our infantry players. Surprised I only got one there, but I guess the damage always helps. And I see a tank in their spawn. It might be an AA, I'm not sure yet. Must be if it's shooting a missile at me. See if we can clean him up. Just barely get him. Scrape the trees as we get out, but that's how you want it. And that seems like it's going to hit me. Must be from a helicopter. I'm not sure how it got over the mountain like that. Either way, I'm going to run away. Because if you do get on fire, like 10 health or below, your, your jet will never heal up again. It's just some weird bug. So you want to make sure you get the auto regen. I believe there's a soft land. Just having someone hold a lock like that doesn't seem right. To watch out for that. I like using this third person mode for spotting. Sometimes it works out well. Managed to see one guy here, clean him up, and we're gonna dip. Might be in trouble here with this jet behind me. Gonna try to turn towards him and close the angle. Perhaps my wingman killed him. Not sure. I don't see him anymore, so. I'm assuming that's what happened. Let's head back in towards probably anywhere from B1. Because I think that's where the enemies are running from. There's one there. Can we get this heli though? No. It is really, really like awkward to aim this thing sideways sometimes. So if your aim's not on, you're probably not going to get the kill. The light ran there. Via 4 that would have killed you. Let's see if there's any more down here. There's one. And yeah, my, my rocket pods are just going nowhere near where I'm aiming. It's really annoying, but that is kind of how they are in this game.
Looks like there's some sort of vehicle down there. Something was shooting big traces at me. Maybe it's this thing. Oh well. <laughs> CAA. I just love it. As a jet pilot, there's nothing I love more. Oh well. Okay. There's nothing I love more than just having a total power imbalance between the jets and the AAs. Like eventually, yes, they have to fix it, and I'm 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 all for them fixing it eventually. But give me a week of rolling AAs and I will not complain. Not even for a second. Looks like there's another AA there in the trees. Gonna see if we can clean him up. I've missed too many shots here. I don't think I'm gonna get him. But he is low enough where I can probably turn back. So there's an enemy jet up. I'm gonna keep an eye on the jet. Make sure it doesn't kill my wingman. But this AA has to die while it's low. So we got him. And now let's try to get the jet before it kills my teammate. Nicely in there. We get him down pretty quickly. And I'm not sure what's better, really. I, I do think the other jet is better because it turns faster. But this jet kills so quickly that if your aim was good enough, you probably never have to 1v1. You could just kill them before the 1v1. So just like that, it's uh, it's very, very strong if you get the, the guns on. Whereas the cannons on the other jet are very, very slow velocity. Not close to as good as these ones. And these ones are more effective against air targets as well, so... I think if you had the time to practice either jet, A-10 is the one to do. Looks like a dead heli. Oh, it might be an alive heli. <laughs> the, the maneuvers made it look really dead, but I think that heli is actually alive, so let's just insta-kill him. Get him out the way and flare away. Flares are definitely the go. I think this is the best loadout in the game for this for this jet that I'm using right now. Try it out. The stealth and the flares. And then you have the rocket pods as your secondary. Should be the best loadout. Can't think of anything better. Checking the spawn for AAs. Sure enough, there's an AA there as soon as I look away. And I intentionally try to flare as late as possible there, so it buys me more time with coverage, so I can uh, kill the AA and then pull away. There's also a jet that's just spawned, so I'm going to stay low, sneak back around once I have my flares. Fortunately, this server's really, really lagging, but it still feels playable enough. Accidentally let that jet get on my six. Going to have to defend a little bit here. I can always use out of bounds if I have to. It's a trick I sometimes use in BF4, but very rarely. In public games, though, yeah. It's quite strong. And one simple thing, guys, if you guys are watching, if you want to make jets a lot more fun and predictable, give it a much larger radar. Like, four to five times the size of the current one. And that will make dogfighting a lot more doable because you can actually use the radar to tell where the other jet's going. And then ECM actually has value as well. So if I could change... Uh, if I could change the jets in a very simple way, that'd be the way I'd do it. Got my flares back now. May as well strafe something. This guy looks like he wants to die. Okay, I should have definitely died there. That definitely should have killed me, but I'll take it. I like the guy's name. Cry underscore 333. Some of the people's names, man. make light work of the AAs. I don't have to say anything about that. It's just, that's how it is. It works the AAs so quickly. There's a tank there, but I decided to go for the attack Kelly because it looked like it was on low health. A tank's not going to move very far, but an attack Kelly could, so may as well take out the thing that's most likely to move. And now we'll go back for the tank and clean that up. No worries. Mr. Cry333 takes another death. And here we have an enemy jet. Don't know what it's doing. Is that a friendly jet? 
I'm so confused. I thought it was a jet. Anyways, another AA. Oh, it's a BTR. Anyways, it doesn't really matter what it is. The whole point is this A10 will get rid of it. So yeah, is this is this the strongest jet so far in Battlefield? I think the BF4 attack jet came out a bit stronger. And the BF3 attack jet might be stronger as well, but... This thing's a pretty good contender. Unfortunately, we got ourselves into a dogfight here. I'm pretty much relying on my friendly to kill him. Luckily, he does, I think. I heard an explosion. I'm pretty sure the other jet's dead. Because I can't really contest a dogfight like that. This jet just turns a bit slower, unfortunately. <laughs> Managed to go inverted and get that kill there. But yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's pretty much this jet. Definitely the strongest jet in the game now. It's good to finally have something fun to fly. With all that said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.